your side consumer watch. Today is March 14th, and that means it's National Pi Day, the day that mimics the first three digits of the mathematical constant pi, 3.14. It's also a day you can get sweet deals on a pie with an E. We're talking pizza pies and baked pies. You can find a list of those deals on WFLA.com. People all over the country are coming up with creative ideas to celebrate Pi Day. And we send News Channel 8's Anthony Allred, double A, over to Curtis Hickson Park, where the folks at the Glacier Children's Museum threw together a massive pie fight. When I think of Pie Day, I think of one of my favorite anchors, Gail Searens, bringing Mike's pies down to News Channel 8. But after what the Glacier Children's Museum did on this day, it's gonna have a whole new meaning. We are having a spectacular day celebrating Einstein's birthday and the number Pi, 3.1416. After making a hundred shaving cream pies, these 3.14 pint-sized Pi Day warriors wiped their nose and donned the war gear as they prepared to do battle in a pie fight to the finish. Well, it's going to be fun. I'm probably going to win. Game on. Let's do it. My strategy is to look at them, and then I throw the pie after I calculate in my mind how, far I need, how hard I need to throw. <laughs> if only it was that simple. Because once the pies started flying, it was everyone for themselves. Too much shaving cream. I got like hit in the mouth like five times. In the heat of this big battle, there was a lot of kids crying. But that didn't stop nine-year-old Aiden Lockhart from reaching his ultimate goal. It's in my mouth. It's in my mouth. Are you having fun? Yeah. And when you're at Curtis Hickson Park, slinging pie all over the playground, we found the best way to clean it off, a trip through the water fountain. Okay, as you can see, not even I was immune from getting a little pie in the eye and all over my face. So I guess I'll just have to act like everyone else and clean myself up right here in the middle of Curtis Hickson Park. Yeah! 